How you doing? I'm Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures. And in this video, I want to quickly talk to you about how to keep deer ticks off of you because deer ticks carry Lyme's disease. One of the most important things you can do to protect yourself is make sure you tuck everything in. You tuck your shirt in, wear it like I wear a belt, tuck my shirt in, my pants here. You can also tuck your pant legs into your socks or I wear rubber boots that come up over my pant legs. But not everybody wants to do that, especially because it can ruin the elastic in your socks. So what I do is I take a bug repellent that has DEET in it. Now a lot of people maybe are you know, concerned about DEET and don't want to use it. And if you're one of those, then you might have to look for another solution. But this works really well. And what I do is I spray it on my socks and on my pant legs because most of the, the ticks that you're going to encounter, will their um, natural tendency is to get on animal trails like deer trails, bear trails, things like that and they wait for those animals to come by and they grab a hold of them and that's where they get their meal and so typically from about waist down is where you most often see them getting on to you because that's where their they're, animals the height of an, the back of an animal is about as high as your waist and so the ticks are about that height and they're just waiting for something to walk by to grab a hold of. Now if you spray yourself down with the you know, tick repellent, waist down especially, it really helps. And what I do is, I'll show you here, I spray my shoes and my socks and my pant legs and also my waist. I'll also wear a hat and spray the hat. I like to spray around here just for the mosquitoes, but you don't even really need to spray it on your skin directly. You can just spray it on your socks and pant legs in those areas and it tends to keep them off you pretty well because they don't like that DEET so they're not going to cling on to you. I'll also say that in hunting season I spray my clothes with permethrin and the ticks literally die as soon as they touch it. It's odorless and it lasts several weeks on your clothes. So just taking these few precautions before you go walking through the woods can really help. Another thing you can do is Try to not brush up against anything, especially, like I said, from waist down. And if you ever feel something brush up against you, stop and look to see if a tick got on you. There's been plenty of times where I haven't had any repellent on and I brushed up against something and I immediately looked and I was able to get it to tick off me right away. And that's another thing to keep in mind. Try to heighten your awareness and your senses. What I mean is, you know, take your finger and touch your arm. If you just do it lightly, you can feel it. But there's a lot of times where we just tune out and we don't pay attention to those types of things. So just kind of tune it out for a minute and then intentionally focus your mind on it and see how it's possible for you to tune out things that you can sense on your arm. However, when you're going out into the woods, you don't have to be paranoid, but if you just try to pay attention to your senses, there's times where I have actually felt the ticks crawling on my leg or something, especially if I didn't have any repellent to spray on me at that time and I was able to get it off me. So another thing you can do, a natural thing you can do, is heighten your awareness to your senses. In life, we often tune out a lot of what we don't need at a given point in time. However, in a natural environment situation, tuning back into those senses on your body can definitely help you avoid getting a tick on you. Another tip to consider is wearing lighter color clothing because that will show a tick easier than darker color clothing when you go out there. Lastly, when you come in from being outside, make sure you change your clothes and check yourself real good for ticks. So I hope these little ideas have helped you and I hope you, know, you don't get bit by a deer tick and because Lyme disease is not fun. Until next time, take care, God bless. Oh, and please share this with other people. Take care.